I worked the night shift at the New York City Zoo for 25 years with my great friend, Jim Fish. We always stayed together for years. People have warned us about working the night shift because of the gorilla ghost legend, but we did not believe in ghosts at all. It was the night of October 31st, and we were entering the New York Zoo, signing in for our famous Halloween shift. It has been heard that the ghost gorilla attacks on Halloween night, but after 25 years, we had never seen or encountered the ghost. But tonight, we were determined to find the ghost and solve the mystery. The night started off as usual. We were sitting on the bench talking. When the clock struck 10 o'clock, we decided to go on the hunt. We each had a flashlight and a phone in case anything happened. We were searching for a half an hour with no luck. I had searched the penguin tank, the monkey cage, and the lemur cage. The final cage was the best bet to find the ghost gorilla, the gorilla cage. I contacted Jim from his phone so that we can both inspect the gorilla cage together. We went opposite ways. While Jim was inspecting, he found mysterious white hair in the pen when the gorillas were black. As Jim started to walk further into the pen, he started to feel a chill down his spine. When he turned around, he felt something grab him, and Jim immediately passed out. I was trying to contact Jim, but there was no answer. So I yelled, FISH! There was still no answer. I started to get really scared and sprinted toward the entrance of the zoo. Then I finally saw it. It was the ghost of the gorilla. I had no time to unlock the gates to the zoo, so I decided to start sprinting around the zoo. After 20 minutes, I was exhausted, and I went to hide in the gorilla pen, not knowing that was the home of the ghost gorilla. As I looked to the side of me, I saw a sight that really disgusted me. It was the sight of the fainted Jim. I was so disgusted, I sprinted out of the gorilla cage after seeing my friend half dead. I was in tears because I had known Jim for almost my whole life. Since I was not paying any attention, the ghost gorilla grabbed me, and I also passed out. That morning, Jim and Jean did not attend work, and the boss thought it was odd because they never missed a day of work. After no one saw Jim or Jean, the police started looking for them. Jim and Jean were never heard of again, with the legend of the gorilla ghost still unsolved.